Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michael and I'm an incoming MD-PhD student at the University of Pennsylvania. Today we'll be talking about specifically why I chose to attend UPenn as opposed to some of the other schools that I was offered admission to. So if you watched my earlier video about kind of reviewing my AMCAS application, you might have seen the different programs that I was admitted to. And then a couple of days ago, I also uh, posted another video talking about the different factors that you might want to consider when choosing between different MD-PhD programs. So I guess the logical next video for me to make, which is this one, is why did I specifically choose UPenn out of the different schools that I was looking at. So there were six major reasons why I chose to go to UPenn as opposed to another program. And I'll start off by outlining them similar to my previous video. The first one is cost. Honestly, that wasn't too big of a decision factor for me because out of the nine other programs that I was admitted to, all of them were MSTP programs. And what that means is that they were fully funded with a living stipend, they had health benefits, all that stuff. So um, cost wasn't really that big of an issue for me. Number two is location. Um, honestly, I don't think location was a big draw for me as opposed to it was just to help narrow down other um, things through like process of elimination. Um, so I had a kind of a pretty unique set of criteria that I was looking at between different um, cities and where I wanted to actually relocate. Uh, the first thing was that I really wanted to get out of California as much as possible because again, I wanted to explore other parts of the US and see what they were all about. And so that eliminated a lot of like the West Coast schools that I was looking at. Um, I also didn't want to be too exorbitant on like, um, you know, cost of living. And so things like New York and Boston, those were more difficult for me. Um, but I still wanted kind of like a, a big city vibe. Um, there was something I really did like about kind of living near LA. And so I wanted to continue living in a, um, have the option of going to the city when possible while still not paying like a lot of money. Ultimately, out of all of those factors, Philly was a really enticing option for me. Number two was life factors. Um, so this one was definitely a big, big component for me. Uh, one of the things that really drew me to UPenn was that they had a lot of time set aside for students for either recreation or just, you know, mental health time. Um, and so as an example, UPenn was one of the only programs I saw where they only had two full days worth of classes during preclinical years um, and then three half days per week. So basically the afternoons would be completely off and students could either relax, they could study, they could go to the gym or whatever they want to spend their time on. That was really big for me because especially coming out of a place like Caltech where I was literally working nonstop 24 seven, I wanted a place that, you know, I could still get a really valuable medical education, but I could also take the time to, you know, take a breather and actually focus on myself and make sure I was getting enough sleep and everything like that. Penn also, like many other medical schools, is also completely pass fail for the preclinical years. So that takes a lot of like the added stress um, off of the first two years of medical school. Number four is school culture. This was honestly probably the biggest thing that really drew me to Penn. Basically, as a side note, there are some special parts of my application that I had to coordinate with the MSTP director, so the program director at Penn MD PhD program. And they were just so helpful and understanding and they really tried to work with you throughout the entire process. Um, I got very personalized emails from I'm kind of the director, he was keeping me updated throughout the entire process of when I was like communicating with him and he was willing to go out of his way to help me and my application a lot. Even though I had only just interviewed with the program, I wasn't even accepted yet. For me, that really spoke great lengths as to kind of like the people um, and the program and you know, kind of what I could expect if I went to Penn. It was something that I really appreciated and I knew that if I went there, I'd be taken care of and kind of the administration would always be on my side. And this is probably, so I don't know how qualified I am to say anything about this yet because I haven't actually lived in Philly for a very long time or at all yet. But just my impressions kind of interacting with current students, the administration, even like coordinating like lease documents for renting an apartment and stuff like that. People there, they're just, they're a lot more helpful um, in terms of like actually helping you getting stuff done. And if you have any questions, they're really direct and they just give you a straight answer. That was kind of my first impression. We'll see if that actually sticks when I move to Philly. The fifth reason that I chose to go to Penn was that I was really interested in the research that they were doing. For example, my current research interests have been both in 
um, kind of like CAR T cell therapy and, and other forms of cell-based immunotherapies. And also I'm interested in medical imaging as well. And so they have very strong research um, groups in both of these fields that I would be interested in pursuing my PhD in. They also have a very strong support for uh, medical devices, innovation, and like kind of like the startup world, which is also something that I like to get involved with during medical school. So given all of these factors and the fact that a lot of these programs don't all kind of like line up together at other institutions, um, I was really interested when Penn had all these opportunities for me. And finally, number six was Penn's medical school curriculum. Honestly, this was probably not as strong of a reason as maybe like some of the other ones that I've already talked about, but I really did like that Penn had like this um, emphasis on ultrasound education, a really hands-on learning approach that involves students getting into the clinic during the first year of medical school, and also learning how to use very current technologies in actual patient care right now. Other than that, I don't think I can really comment too much on it because again, my impression was that um, across many other schools, it's pretty standardized, the MD curriculum, and plus I haven't actually gone through it myself yet. So I think those are probably the major reasons why I chose to go to Penn over another MD PhD program. I hope this was helpful in showing you kind of like my own decision making process and why I chose to go to one specific school over other programs. I do want to say that I, I was very privileged to have many different schools to choose from and they were all fantastic programs. I had great experiences interviewing at all of them. And so if you ever have the fortune of interviewing at any of these programs, I think it would be really cool. Hopefully that was helpful. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or other follow-up comments down below. Please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.